This hacker was able to gain access to the deepest, darkest corner of the internet. And what he saw there is the stuff of nightmares. Act into the part of the deep web we aren't supposed to see. I'll assume you all know about the deep web. Well, what you've heard is true. It's not a great place. While some people are there to score, or even out of sheer curiosity, others, well, they're not up to anything good. But I'm not here to talk about these sickos. I'm here to talk about what lies beyond that point, the more cryptic and unexplainable part of the internet, the part that nobody's supposed to see. There was an infographic that cropped up a while ago, eight levels of the internet. Maybe you've seen it, but I'm not going to lie. It's complete bull. Sorry, but the polymeric falsical derivation means nothing. And the Primark system, well, somebody must have been a fan of Warhammer. There are no quantum mechanics involved here. However, that doesn't mean it was an easy place to find. Now, I'm not going to begin and tell you how to get there. It's unlikely that you'd be able to even if I did. I'm not tooting my own horn. I just didn't have a life outside of this. I was warned, of course. Everybody told me I wasn't going to like what I saw. I wouldn't even understand it. Now, I'm passing off that warning to you. Try not to look for this. There's no official name for this place, or at least I haven't seen one. I can tell you it's called the Marianas Web. The rumors surrounding it, however, range from an Illuminati chat room to a virtual holding cell for an experimental AI gone rogue. In reality, it's a lot worse. After a long and painful process of breaking down firewalls and descriptions, solving bizarre philosophical riddles, and following hidden links, I was finally able to crack it and was directed to a page that was blank with one line of text and a text box underneath it. Quid quieris, Latin, for what do you seek? I remember feeling surprised, but in retrospect, I didn't know what I was expecting. I'll admit, I was a bit stumped here, partly because I didn't know the answer to that question. I had no objective. I just wanted to see if I could do it. I tried some generic answers at first. I typed in the truth, enlightenment, you know, matrix stuff. Nothing happened. I tried a bunch of answers, but none of them worked. I was getting frustrated at this point. Maybe this was a gag. Maybe I hadn't figured out anything. If only I tried something off the wall. Not sure why this came to me or why I thought it might work. I typed in what also seeks me. Now that I begin to think about it, this thing might have been AI. To my surprise, the page went blank, like fully blank. And I waited, after about five minutes, I was directed to what looked like a forum. No, not even that. It was more basic, just a list of links over a brownish yellow background. The links themselves were indecipherable. Just seemingly random sequences of characters, symbols and letters, a lot of them I'd never seen before. It almost looked like an alien language. Just code, I didn't understand at this point. Expectations were off the wall. Each link was a shot in the dark. I clicked the first one, it loaded up a live feed of what seemed to be the Paris Catacombs. It was a shaky video in a dark setting, but I could make out men in tactical gear. They were in a house, opening doors, sweeping each room. Eventually, they kicked one down, revealing a tall humanoid creature with scaly skin it was gnawing on what looked like an animal leg. They tried shooting at it and it would escape out the window. The video stopped. Well, I was floored. What the hell was that? It looked too real to be unreleased film footage. I was officially intrigued. Maybe this was worth the months of headaches and bloodshot eyes. I couldn't stop now. I started working down the list of links with each clip. Everything got more and more bizarre, more disturbing. I stumbled upon a document called the Paragon Project detailing trials of human experimentation that would lead to superhuman levels of strength and durability. It was an apparent success. It looked official too. There were essays on space-time anomalies, glitches in reality, and apparent pictures of alternate dimensions. There were detailed explanations regarding Area 51 and the Bermuda Triangle. Even assassinations, disappearances, and the true nature of the Holy Grail. One of the more upsetting ones was a document referring to a world-ending bomb, a nuke, 720,000 times stronger than the one dropped on Hiroshima. I don't know why we would want that or even need that. I found a contingency plan for different kinds of apocalypses. 
nuclear winter, biological weapons, and viral outbreaks. Some more peculiar ones were the ones that referred to the Marianas Trench abnormality. The bluntly labeled strange man on the 15th floor, one simply referred to the blackout, recovered logs, skinwalkers, hunting expeditions, 911 calls from residents of a town in Texas that went missing in 1977. And even the journals of the people involved in the Dietlov Pass incident, they didn't go insane because of the snow. I spent hours on there looking through pages and pages of things I felt like I wasn't supposed to see. I came across the trailer for a silent film made back in 1910 that made people claw their after watching. It almost derailed the whole industry. There was a live stream of a hooded man sitting in front of a camera. He was crouched down. Eventually, he lifted his head. Even though he had no mouth, a deep guttural hello came through my speakers. Somehow I knew it came from him. I didn't stick around for that. There was a series of step-by-step -step guides that involved things like creating Frankenstein-like creatures, performing religious incantations in the middle of the Siberian forest, and going to the coordinates that has captive fallen angels. It was unclear what any of these were supposed to achieve. There were also 20-second long clips titled The Futility of the Living. I didn't watch it. That's when I realized there was no way even the highest form of organized government had full control of this. One of the scariest things about this whole experience was that I didn't find the end of the list, no matter how far I scrolled down. I think I eventually had a meltdown and passed out because I woke up on my floor in the middle of the night. I looked at my computer screen to see a looped helicopter footage of massive crab-like creature tearing apart a coastal island. I clicked off it and just sat there for the longest time. I couldn't comprehend what I was seeing. And don't think I wanted to know. I'm not sure why I kept going. My brain was screaming for me to take the computer out my lawn and smash it into pieces, but I didn't. I noticed something I hadn't before, a small message at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. I don't know if it was always there or not. In order to read it, I had to squint. More Latin translated into, are you satisfied? There were two options underneath. It was a yes or a no. Now I knew the answer to this question. No, I wasn't satisfied. I was horrified and scared, scarred for life. I shouldn't have, but I clicked on no. If I'd have just clicked on yes, it would have taken me out of that godforsaken place, back to comfort and sanity. Even right now, I can't tell you why I clicked no, but once I did, the top page seemed to refresh. It was still the same basic setup, except there was only four links. This time, there were no recognizable numbers, characters, anything. Hell, I didn't even know what it was. I had never come across it in this world. Just a collection of extremely crude symbols that didn't give off any sense of pattern or direction. I clicked on the first link. After about 20 seconds, I slammed my computer shut. I can't describe to you what I saw. All I know is that it wasn't supposed to be seen by anybody in this world. Nobody should ever see something like this. I couldn't begin to grasp the images I was seeing. It wasn't graphic or anything like that. I just couldn't recognize it. I could not make out things moving in a way that I've never seen any creature move on this earth. Colors that I've never seen before. Just thinking about it gives me a splitting headache. This is my best attempt at visualizing it. We have three dimensions here on earth. We can move forwards, backwards, left, right, 72.4 degrees southwest, etc. These things weren't restricted to any of that. I can't explain it any further. All I know is that I didn't want to watch it for one more second. I don't think I would have been able to. I left my room for the first time in a while. I was planning on leaving my house. I needed fresh air to take a walk or something. Hell, I was thinking about running a marathon in the middle of the night just to get my mind off the crap for a few hours. I was putting on my jacket when I heard a knock at the door. I stopped dead in my tracks. I wasn't opening up. About a minute and five more knocks or somebody spoke up. We know what you did, but we're not here to hurt you. We just want to talk. The tone wasn't threatening. Eventually, I obliged. I opened up my door. Two tall, slim men in suits. They smiled. Can we come in? I still don't know how they found me. I thought I for sure was off the grid. We sat down on the couch. I guess I was just waiting for answers at this point. One of them looked at me and said, well, did you find what you were looking for? I don't know, but I'm not going back, I responded. He smiled again like this is what he wanted to hear. The other one piped up. Whom do you work for? His tone was a bit more aggressive. I just shook my head. Look, I didn't know what I was getting into. I wasn't looking for anything. They just stared at me for a while. I'm not going to tell anybody. Trust me. They finally responded. We're not worried about that. Doubt anybody would believe you anyway. Another smile. Somehow it felt genuine. We just want to know what your priorities were. 
In retrospect, that was a very strange question. Just do us a favor and we'll leave. I perked up. Give us the device that you use to access it. I didn't ask any questions. I ran upstairs and tossed them my laptop. They both smirked at me one last time before heading for the door. Just as they were about to leave, one of them turned back and said, I don't think you'll need to be told, but don't try this again or show anybody else how to get there. Don't worry, I replied. I didn't ask who they were. I'm not sure I would have wanted to know. It's been a week now. I don't go on the internet so much anymore after this. I'm going to try and forget, not to try and think about it anymore. I've started having horrific nightmares. Been seeing a therapist for a while, but don't think it's helping. Anyways, I'm not going to let this consume the rest of my life. The thing is, I'm afraid this might not be possible. There are some things we aren't supposed to know about, probably for our own safety and sanity. Don't try and seek them out. It's better that way. However, it might be too late for me. Well, what do y'all think? Crazy, right? I just thought in lieu of my Mariana's web post that that was actually an awesome story to go along with it. Obviously, it is alleged to be a fictional tale, but it's one of those Reddit things. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, you know the story behind those. Sometimes they say it's real people just telling a true story as a story. Hard to say. Let me know in the comments what you think. Is there really a Mariana's web? And if so, and also, what would we find there? that would blow your mind stuff like that giant crab story what that is crazy uh then you know the guy with no mouth etc there was other more graphic stuff that i left out of the tale because of you know pg purposes um but nevertheless crazy awesome story and watch out for my live we're probably going to move it to saturday night at around 11 p.m i'm going to put a reminder up on my page and schedule it so be on the lookout. Lives are happening consistently at least once a week now. So stay tuned. Stay in love, stay in light, be kind to others. I am out.